Hello, I am the Brown Booktuber and I need to move somewhere where it's permanently cold because I cannot handle a heat wave. Today, we're going to be talking about a book from India. Finally, I think it's been a while since the last time I spoke about a book that wasn't from Japan or wasn't like a miscellaneous video. Today, we're going to be talking about Vivek Shanbag's Gachur Gachur. Uh, that's how I'm choosing to pronounce it, so <clears throat> I hope that's correct. Garchard Gorshard is a novella, it's about 118 pages, and in my opinion, I, I enjoyed it, but I feel like this could be the first third of a mystery or crime book. I really feel like, especially, no spoilers obviously, it builds itself like it could be the introduction to a very lengthy crime book. Again, it's a novella-sized, essentially, intro to a greater book. I mean, the book itself uh, isn't just that. It very much and very clearly has a distinct theme and message it's talking about. It has a very distinct theme and message talking about the corruption of money, the corruption of greed, how good, decent people, people who have even struggled in their lives when it comes to money, money will affect people and have negative consequences. It is the negative consequences of our global desire and drive for more capitalism, for more money. It's something that obviously is something that has to motivate us at some point. It's like the family in this book uh, of our main character who I believe remains unnamed throughout. They are struggling growing up. You need that money when you are poor, when you are struggling. Every single cent, every single penny counts. And that's really drilled into you in this book. And then when it comes to having money, that goes out the window. Your, your pride at times overtakes you. Your <clears throat> sensibility overtakes you. Your thought process completely changes. We have one character who is the father, uh, Upper. Throughout the book, he seems to be the one constant. He seems to be the one person who doesn't change as an individual. And actually, that is for the better throughout. He is this old generation, this, I assume, maybe my grandfather's generation, who have a struggle and all they know is to work and all they know is to provide for their family and try and ensure that happens. Obviously there are flaws with that and that is addressed in this book as well because no one's life should be that but they are in that position and then they come into wealth and that wealth changes a lot of the characters. It changes how they act or not even changes but it takes it takes things that are a small thing about a person that underlies because everyone is flawed all people are flawed in my opinion let me know in the comments down below <laughs> all people are flawed to some degree and the money builds on those flaws it allows those flaws to grow it allows things like avarice things like pride things like desire greed to come you know the you know the seven deadly sins i've watched full metal alchemist <laughs> Um, but those things decide to come, not decide, they start to come out of you as an individual. <clears throat> Sloth as well, it's another one that's really addressed in this book. And like I was saying, the book starts off like, oh, it's just a family drama, it's a, it's a Bildungsroman about this family's life, you know, and there will be some stuff about corruption with money, we see that in classics like uh, Great Expectations or David Copperfield. But but slowly, bit by bit, tension is added. This, this very, this darkness creeps up on you as you get through the book. Again, it kind of falls in line with as the characters accumulate more wealth, this shadow of darkness starts to slowly creep up through the book and eventually, towards the end you're hit with a wait what what's happening now it's it's really well done that last section the last maybe 20 pages of the book a lot happens but a lot happens in the fact that it was being built up to this throughout there are certain things when you're reading this book and i'm like oh man these people are disgraceful i hate them all but it, but you learn that 
through their changes in life, how they've changed when they've accumulated wealth. And I guess, you know, some people, if you're in the comments down below, may disagree with this, but the accumulation of wealth and the ma amassing of wealth is one of the biggest issues we have in this world, whether it be from an individual level or a global scale. <laughs> and that is really exemplified in Gachar Gachar. Uh, I recommend reading this, especially if you are like South Asian. I think this really spoke to me. A lot of the things about the family dynamics did speak to me a lot. And also, South India, respect. Gotta got to rep it. I keep reading books about South, in, South India. South India. The book I was going to review instead of this um, was another book set in South India, but then I read this and I'm like, I want to talk about this instead. So I recommend it. And also, look at this cover. It's lovely. I got this from my library, obviously. Shout out to libraries. Um, check out my previous video to find out about how you can help Palestinian libraries. I love libraries. I encourage you to go get a library card. Comment down below if you have your local library card. <laughs> but I digress. Uh, thank you for watching. Again, as I said, go out and read this book. Again, get it from the library if you can do. Highly recommend it. A link to the book will be down below. If you want to buy a copy, I'm probably going to buy a copy. So yeah, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, share the video with a friend or family member. And hey, don't don't be tempted by greed. Don't do that. Just don't. Don't do it.